So there is a new film coming out. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's called the Ma- the Super Mario Bros movie. Mm-hmm. It is interesting because it stars Chris Pratt. Okay, you know what? Let's let's before we carry on, let's yeah. let's get this cast list up. Let's just it's let's just make sure. It's stacked cast. So the, it the, is, yeah. the trailer came out a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. And it, it, they did a Nintendo Direct. A Nintendo Direct for it. For the trailer. Yeah. When Miyamoto was like, guys. They really like made sure to like warn people. <laughs> like, listen. We need to like make a Direct. Because we need... To, it was like a... It was almost like a public service announcement. Literally. It's like, hey, like, you know, like, 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 literally, like, I was watching the news and, like, literally what happened was while it was on, it, like, all of a sudden cut and then they were like, Nintendo Direct, like, Ma- the Mario movie trailer is coming in five minutes. Seek shelter immediately. Uh, and it well, was. <laughs> they did, like, yeah, because Miyamoto was talking about, um, oh, he loves Illuminate, he loves the minions. Um, and then Illumination's head was like, yeah, we just fuck with Nintendo. We just fuck with it, you know? <laughs> and then, and then, then they got Chris so Pratt good. up, and Chris Pratt was like, who the fuck is Mario? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a Mario? Chris <laughs> Pratt was like, I love stomping on those Goombas. <laughs> but it like felt like it was reading a script. Wait, 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 no, no, it was, it was Koopas. Yeah. He said, he, but like, but like the way he said it, he went like, he went like, I just love stomping on Coopers. Like he said, Coopers. Like it was a slay. Like he said it like so. Well, he said it so well, pronounced, yeah, yeah. which Chris, makes sense because he's a Republican. Pratt's, yeah, he's used to saying slurs. So he's got a <laughs> <our> practice. <laughs> like I just like yeah, like yeah, like yeah, like during like the Nintendo Direct, he mm. was like, he was like doing it like the reason why like the background was blurred was because yeah. it was like a gay conversion therapy like dull well, no, no, no. and they were like no, literally, I, I, was, I was saying to my girlfriend I was like literally why is the, background yeah, blurred? The, the background's blurred just to hide like, <laughs> just like just Trump, <laughs> it's like it's, it's like, like all the Trump posts the fucking like let's go Brandon like flag like to make America great again hands they didn't have to hide at all but they he, were was, like, yeah, <laughs> he was actually in the really homophobic church <laughs> Like, no, 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 listen, that red hat doesn't say make America great again, it says make Mario Well, genuinely, again. let's just take a second to appreciate the fact that mm. the Mario movie trailer, uh, Mario was not wearing a MAGA cap. I mean, just well done, guys. God bless. I could just tell with Chris Pratt there was a lot of restraint there. Oh, yeah. The fact that at no point Mario just screamed <laughs> a slur. So this cast, yeah. this cast, it's, it's a, a Mario cast. movie. Okay, Chris Pratt, yeah. playing Mario. His voice is nothing like... His voice! It's, it's nothing like you've ever heard before. His voice? I remember thinking, oh god, what's yeah, it gonna yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. What are they gonna do? Yeah. And of course, it's just Chris Pratt. You know he actually said in the interview, it's nothing like you've ever heard before in the Mario world. Well, I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> He's not wrong! <laughs> He's not wrong, it's just, you know, it's just... <laughs> no, but the fact that literally, in that trailer, the, the final line is, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. And he just says, here we come. He literally goes, <laughs> mushroom kingdom, here we come. And it's like, hey, Mario's fucking catchphrase is, here we go. Like, <laughs> and he never said, the fact, look, I was excited for an entire day just to hear Chris Pratt go, mamma mia. <laughs> and at no point does he say, mamma mia. No, what the fuck, Chris right. Pratt. What else, what so, else is in this? Chris Pratt, yeah, yeah. and you Taylor Joy, she's playing Peach. We didn't get to see you that. Don't get, did they show what she looks like? There was a leaked poster afterwards that showed it. Yeah. But we never got to hear any what do you, of Joy's well, Okay, what do you think of the Mario design? Speaking of that. Yeah, it's I fine. It's fine. The animation's do, really good. The animation's great, but I do I do think Mario's design is a little bit off. He lost his ass. Bowser looks great. Bowser looks fantastic. Yeah. It, Mario's a bit stretched. It's, yeah, he's it's a bit, like... He's a bit it's horizontally like tried, stretched. I think as well, they tried to make him... Oh, he also doesn't have an ass. Yeah, I don't know. Where the fuck is his bubble bum? <laughs> Where is it? Where's the bubble bum? Where is that? But like, he literally like... I don't know what... I don't know they tried to go slightly more human. I think that's what they've gone for. Like, they've went for like a Super Mario real life. Like, they went like for that. Like, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure Peach will be fine. Peach will just look like Peach. Also, Mario, yeah. I can understand them stretching slightly, even if I think it just looks wrong. Yeah. Um, but I guess it make him look, look a little bit more. His nose, I think, is a bit smaller. 
Yeah, like, yeah, like, it's not a bad design. Yeah, it's just its proportions are slightly yeah, off. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more just slightly off, but it's not like the Sonic movie. No, it's not. Like, when, like it's I not saw like people that. comparing the Sonic movie design to this design. It's like no, it's not, not that bad. I think I do think the trying. Yeah. I, I do think like the final. Fine I design. thought the I voted for Trump badge was a bit of a weird choice. That was but, a weird know, choice. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I thought it was weird, but like Mario sort of goomba and he called <laughs> it a slayer. I thought that was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> when he just pulled out the Bible and started reading from it. <laughs> <laughs> so then, okay, so Chris Pratt, I need to tell Joy, yeah. Charlie Day, that is playing Luigi, casting. fucking amazing casting. Like, and I swear to God, I would love if they had Charlie Day speak like Italian, like like, like speaking that like Italian <laughs> accent. Chris Pratt is just Chris Pratt, but Charlie <laughs> yeah. Day knows. Right? Like, genuinely, that would be hilarious it if they did. But that is perfect casting. Perfect casting. Perfect casting. We got a little bit of him and he seemed But great. no, he yeah, but great. no, like, no. Yeah. Uh, I think they are I setting up a Luigi's Mansion movie. I would love that. Which I, yeah, I would love. With Charlie I Day. Charlie Day, Day is Luigi. That's fucking perfect. It I love perfect, that. Castle. Jack Black is Bowser. He sounds great as Bowser. I adore Jack Black. Like, yeah. actually adore that man. Yeah. Did He's you, great. He's perfect for Bowser. Did you see the Jack Black? Like, it, the, I think it was the 2020 election or whatever. Mm. He did, like, a, a parody of Time Warp where he got, like, Senator Elizabeth Warren to do <laughs> to say some of the lines. Like, shit like that. Like, Jack Black is... Jack Black's I great. Love I Jack love Black. But, like... He, the bit he got of him, he's great. No, he's fantastic. He's absolutely fantastic as Bowser. Like, I can totally, but I think it helps that, like, he has a very good animation history. Yes. Like, he's obviously Kung Fu Panda, and, like, he's done, yeah, he's yeah, done yeah. a ton of No, he knows what stuff. he's doing. So, it's like, it's one of them, like, and he's done, like, he just does a lot of voice work, so. He's also got a voice actor's voice. Yeah, he's you know perfect I mean? for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Which I swear to God, I am hoping and praying it is just Seth Rogen. I don't want anything else. Like I want, I love the idea of Seth Rogen like, <laughs> like fucking doing the laugh like Mario. <laughs> I just love the idea of Donkey Kong just being stoned as fuck mm. the entire way through. <laughs> Keegan Michael Key is yeah, he seems to be a good toad. Oh. Um. Yeah, he definitely sounds like Toad. He sounds like yeah. what like Toad would sound like. I thought the Toad joke was. Bad. It's not it's funny. Not funny. It's seriously not funny. I assume they were. The penguin happens. joke, however, that slapped. That was yeah. that bad. That was good. That was yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I mean, I definitely do think they want Toad to be kind of, I, in the trick in the poster, which I love the poster. There's a lot of Toads. There's a lot of Toads. That poster's gorgeous. It's a good poster. It's a gorgeous poster. I thought Mario looked really off in that poster though. Like the back of him, like he looked. I, I genuinely thought he was going to be made of plasticine in the movie. He looks like a puppet. Yeah. He literally looks like a puppet. <laughs> like it's like because like it's the yeah it's like the design where he looks totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like in the yeah. But, but like, you know, I, though I think there'll be a lot of Toads all voiced voiced by Keegan Michael Key, and I think it will be a pl- minion ploy. The, yeah, I feel I, I feel that's the idea is to yeah. make them like silly. Yeah, like, yeah, he's, yeah. He's playing them all. Oh, so the beginning of the Mario movie trailer. Well, not the beginning, but like when Mario comes on in the trailer, he and he goes, "Where am I?" Do you think they're going to do a plot where Mario's transported from New York City into the Mushroom Kingdom? I did. I did notice that that he seems to not know where he is. Yeah, which I thought like doesn't he like live there? I, I'm really scared they're going to. To make it like the beginning of the film's live action is actually Chris Pratt. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was literally about to say that. It's like, yeah, like it starts, yeah, and it becomes, and that's why he sounds like Chris Pratt. He becomes Mario. He <laughs> becomes <laughs> Mario. That'd be terrifying. Like, you are now Mario. I don't transformation. Sequence. Imagine, imagine if Shigeru Miyamoto kicks down your fucking door. He kicks it down your door. You are Mario. You. You just, you just start transforming. <laughs> and then you look at it and you see you have like a mustache now. You're like, no, please, you can't remote him. No, I don't want to be Mario. That would be a great body horror film. <laughs> it's like a David Cronin movie. We become Mario. Wait, so who else is that? There's, um. Fred yeah. Armisen. Yeah. Um, he's playing Cranky Kong. Sure. Cranky. I guess they're gonna have a bit set in Donkey Kong's King. Kevin Michael Richardson. Sure. I think he plays the Penguin. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah I think sense. Sebastian Manzacalco. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> and Charles Martinet, who's playing. I Probably believe Charles Martinet. I believe they said that he's a cameo. He'll be playing himself. Guarantee. There's another Mario. That's voiced by him. And oh, it's one who goes like, "It's me!" Like he does like that. And then, and then Chris Pratt's gonna be like, "That would be really annoying if it was across the." Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, then, like, and then like Chris Pratt kills him. <laughs> <laughs> Stabs him with that. Like Chris Pratt. Chris, Chris, Chris Pratt. Just, just a gun. Like, gets a gun. Fucking 
shoots him and goes like, this isn't, this isn't that Mario. Fuck you. I know where you live if you, if you hate this. But like, I mean, to be fair, right? I, I was wondering if some child man age Mario just runs in and goes, I love gay people and Chris <laughs> shoots them. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like that here. Like, so I was reading about who wrote like the film. Yeah. yeah. It's so okay. So it's written. Hang on. So it's directed by the creator of Teen Titans Go and the director of the movie, which the movie. Uh, the the movie slaps. The movie, yeah, the movie is great. The Teen Titans. I okay, genuinely, my Teen Titans Go movie story because mm. everyone has one. I went and saw that movie with a friend. We we sat. I haven't seen it. We sat back row, center. Perfect viewing. And that movie slapped. <laughs> I I've not seen it, but I've seen a it's couple of clips and it's really funny. It's I kind of want to watch it because it's like please watch it. I really I really need to watch it's it. It's good shit. It is um, good shit. You don't need to watch the show. So I looked. So I looked at the writer. Yeah. Of the Mario movie. Go on, hit me with it. They've only wrote three movies. Oh, I feel like it's gonna be right. bangers. So the first one. Big Mama's house, like father, like son. Ooh, okay, okay. Starting strong. Okay. So then, years later, in 2019, they don't. They got a story by credit okay. for the Lego Movie 2. Oh, the bad one. And then, they wrote Minions: The Rise of Gru. The bad one. Awesome. I mean, that that's really setting me up for some good stuff here. I mean, yeah. There you go. That's. Solid day, solid day team behind this. I. It's just not going to be very good, is it? I, I'm okay. My my prediction is. Yeah. It's going to be like the Sonic movie. Sure, like fine. Completely inoffensive. Yeah. It'll come out. People will see it. People will overhype it, like they did with the Sonic movie. Because it's Mario. The Sonic movie, they were like, I remember the Sonic movie. The way people hyped that up. Oh yeah, people. I saved it with correct. the second one. They were like. This film is a fucking incredible. Oh my god! And then it Citizen came. Citizen Kane move the, aside. Yeah, Here comes Sonic. But like people unironically thinking it was incredible, and then I watched it, and it is the most generic, bland, yeah. bland totally middle of the road, completely inoffensive, but mm. totally just that's Sonic. I think the Mario movie might benefit more so from being animated. Um, see, well, that's, see, well, be, that's, I think yeah. it'll be Illumination's best film. The, you know, by far. Yeah. I think just the animation alone is making it. It's the best yeah. film they've done. It is just the visuals. Yeah. Like, the, the trailer's um, gorgeous. Like, I do hope whole... they have a, their future. Like, I would not be mad if Illumination's future became just making Nintendo movies. Nintendo movies and then, like, the Arkham Minions thing here and there. Because like, I mean, Minions is still coming. The Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Like, Minions, fine. yeah. Because, like, I mean, this new one, I think, is like... Me. F- is that Spickle Me 4 yet? I don't know. I think, I think that that's coming. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think there's a bit, there's, there's, there's that, and I imagine all the minions because there's that new minions made like nearly a billion. I figured it actually. Yeah, they made like a ton really. of money. So like there is, yeah, it's it does one hundred percent going to be minions will always be fueled by people seeing it ironically as well. And I think it's as well as illumination films are really cheap. They are, but like, that's the whole point. The illumination. They're very, is, they're like mid budget. Like they did like because yeah. like, like Disney ones are pretty expensive. Yeah, they, they make ridiculous. these things so cheap. They make so much money because they're so but I am, market friendly. But I do, I do wonder what the budget is for the Mario one though. Because it looks, it looks, looks a hell of a lot better than most of the other ones. But I do wonder if that... I have wondered, is Nintendo helping? Yeah. With that, with the so. animation. I wonder I if so. that's why it doesn't cost as much. Either Nintendo are helping or Nintendo are fucking arresting um, any... Like, they're literally executing yeah. any illumination animators who aren't living up their stand. Yeah. <laughs> And I do wonder that because like Nintendo seems to genuinely be really involved with it. Well, that's and Nintendo's whole thing with them with movies was that they needed it to be perfect, mm. which is you know because I always, the Mario I mean, movie traumatized them. Because I was because I was thinking about this where like Nintendo is kind of they kind of like the video game Disney. Yeah, it is in a sense that they have like a stranglehold on their like on their IP. Yeah. They like it's only recently. That they started doing like Lego yeah, no, and, and Bowser and Donkey Kong were in um, yeah Skylanders yeah like that's only that's only recent that they yeah. really started they they don't hear the name but like I think like Soul Calibur two and like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater yeah had like, like some like stuff in. but like did but that that was like only on the GameCube yeah. version and like and it was more just to keep those games there right it was like it was like one out of desperation right. so question 
Well, the minions being Smash Bros. <sighs> Possibly. I was thinking, I was thinking, how crazy would it be if the Smash Brothers, like, if, if, if like Smash Brothers now, because Nintendo has this partnership now with yeah. Universal, if they stop putting Universal characters in. I I do kind of want... Dominic Toretto in fucking Smash Brothers, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> well, look, Multiverse and LeBron James. 